So Ratna Deep in India asked me a very, very simple question. If you have to start researching on a country in CSIS, how did you approach it? Do you start with the historical context, open source data, or your daily briefings and work on that? What a really good question. I don't think I have an easy answer for you. I'm trying to think back. Um, okay, let me, let, me give you, let me give you a really, hang on, let me see if I can find it. Do I have it here? Give me one second. When I became a, an Iranian analyst in the, um, Early 19, mid 1980, I was working in state intelligence. I learned Farsi, learned how to read it fluently. I picked up this book. It's called Iran Under the Ayatollahs by a man called Dilip Hero, who's an Asian journalist. I've come across his name quite a bit. This book dates from, let me just check here, 85. That's the year I became a, a Farsi linguist. I found reading his book basically got me um, A to Z in what Iran's all about. And it was written um, just after the revolution. So he took you through how the revolution happened, the, Sh the Shah's last days, the arrival of the Ayatollahs, the early days of the Iran-Iraq war. In fact, Dilip Hero did a really good book called The Longest War, also on the Iran-Iraq war from 80 to 88, which people forget was like World War I in the 1980s. Trench warfare, poison gas, blah, blah, blah. And I found that um, if you, what you should do is, is find yourself a really good, reputable author who can give you uh, an idea of what's happening in country X, Y, or Z. Do your homework. Find someone really good. And then once you've got the basics down, you read The Economist, you read things like that, to find out more information. The Economist is really good because it often gives um, uh, um, special reports. They're usually eight to 10 pages long. They do about once a month. And it's usually in the middle of the magazine and um, really good in-depth studies on what's happening in a country. So I, 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 look, I don't work for The Economist, okay? I'm not getting money by, by promoting The Economist here. It's just simply the best news magazine in the world, by far, as far as I'm concerned. And, it, and politically, it's right down the middle of the road. It's not conservative, it's not liberal. It's, it's center of the road in terms of its, uh, its editorial uh, slant, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, and as JB says, The Economist is on the bookmark list. So I, again, for those of you who wonder where I get my, my sources from, Go to my website, borealsthreatenrisk.com, and there's a link there to all of the news sites that I read on a daily basis. And yes, indeed, JB, The Economist is there um, right front and center because I read it on a daily basis. They got a great, by the way, a great, uh, not as good as my podcast, obviously. Not as good, they don't live stream. Not as good as mine, but they do have a daily podcast on what's happening in the world. It's actually, it's, it's actually quite good. For those who are just joining us, I'm Phil Gursky, president of Borealis, former Canadian security intelligence officer. If it's your first time, welcome. I'd uh, love to see you guys subscribe and like it on YouTube. It'd be great. Take care and, and thanks again for showing up.